Hey, hello, my friends, my loved ones. I'd like to thank you for joining with me today. Again, I own another wild edible plant. Today, what I would like to discuss with you today is the sumac. That's right, sumac. There's, uh, here in Georgia, there's two different varieties. We have what is called the smooth sumac. Here. And the staghorn sumac. Today, I like to discuss you is with you today is of all the wild edibles, this is one of the most bastardized plants there is. That's right, folks. This is a very useful plant here, and a very tasty plant for a trail snack. These berries can be eaten, you know, spit out the pit. But the reason why this plant is not much widely used, even amongst those that like forage is called the very word sumac. That's right, folks. Most of the people, when they talk or hear about sumac, they hear about this plant called poison sumac. And don't even worry that there's other plants called sumac. Ain't that some pretty cluster colony of uh, bears here? Let me get a couple of these berries here. Try them here. They're not quite ready. These plants will be about ready about toward the month of September. Just when the fall, last part of summer and the fall fixing start. But this is not only just a trail snack. Indians use these berries. They're from medicinal, and what the Indians would use these berries for is they would make a drink out of them, like a lemonade-like. You see, these berries make a nice drink called sumac tea. Some people say sumac lemonade. And what you do is you want, when it gets time, you want to come and cut these heads off, two or three heads, and like say, you want to make a gallon of sumac-type lemonade. Take these and get you some cold water and just put these heads, bare heads, in cold water and just let them soak and squish the juice out of these um, smooth sumac heads here. It's a pretty looking plant. This plant is pretty well recognized because it grows all over Georgia, all over South Georgia, all over the eastern states from Florida all the way up to uh, Maine, New England, Connecticut, all up through this. This is all weather climate plant right here. When you make some that lemonade, you can get all that juice in and you add a little sugar. You want a little tartness in there, squeeze a little lime and everything in the gallon. Folks, let me make a disclaimer here. There's a lot of plants out there that have look-alikes, but this sumac here, it doesn't have a look-alike. Even the poison sumac is uh, white berries, and both staghorn and smooth sumac are both brown. Now, I've been hearing of other foragers that there are some plants that are similar to this that have berries, but it's is is not a complete a completely a sumac. Folks, what do you think about these? This is free food for the taking. God has blessed us with natural stuff here that we can use. Sumac. Who'd ever thought? Indians been using this bush for thousands of years. Ain't it a pretty plant? Well folks, this is Bubba, the Jewish Redneck Prepper. If you're not a, a subscriber to my YouTube channel, 
the Jewish Redneck Prepper. Well, let me encourage you to join my YouTube page. If you like this video, hit like and share. I do these videos because I enjoy showing people, seeing people ed get educated. Folks, this is part of uh, just one part of uh, survival and prepping. Let me encourage you to also join my Facebook page, Dumpster Divers for Survival and Prepping. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next time, may God bless and enjoy the journey. Shalom. This is Bubba out.